morning guys so first of all uh, first off I will be in London the next three days so if you like to meet up let me know uh, but uh, Friday is the last day uh, tonight I will be going to the Bitcoin cash conference in London uh, it's Wednesday and then Thursday I'm there and Friday also but uh, pre by preference I would like to meet uh, with you uh, if you're in London uh, Thursday uh, for example Thursday evening would be perfect that's tomorrow evening um, let me know via telegram uh, that is at Mark de Maisel. Um, so cryptocurrency markets have um, gone up from a low of 250 billion to, to now uh, 430 or 450 billion in a very short time frame only one maybe two weeks I have to say for me uh, it's frustrating because um, uh, I'm looking to buy and um, uh, I have not uh, bought anything yet and I was tempted to buy uh, but I decided not to or at least to just put up uh, bits, uh, bits that were not hit. Uh, thinking of buying Bitcoin cash it was $600 the low, $650 said okay mm, I should probably buy some but I said no I'm not gonna do it because um, well I'm not gonna market buy uh, uh, but I decided I will put some buy offers between 500 and 600 to uh, um, uh, what, what, what was I saying what was I saying I was saying that um, that uh, they were not hit because the price went straight up and uh, Bitcoin cash is already $1,200, $1,300 or so or maybe $1,500 it goes so fast, unbelievable but uh, I am not fooled my friends this is not the bottom of the bear market no it's not because, um, uh, I mean, it can be, eh? uh, I'm repeating myself so many times, it's always a game of odds, uh, an estimation of probabilities, but in my opinion, in my estimation, the probability is very high uh, that uh, the bear market will continue a lot longer and uh, the bottom will be a lot lower than what we saw. Why? Well, uh, first of all, uh, some arguments against that. Um, the, 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 the bull market didn't go up as much in 2017 compared to the bull market in 2013. Um, from the low to the high, uh, you could say uh, the bull market in 2013 went to a high of 1,250, but the low was $3 for Bitcoin. Um, and so that's times, for, for Bitcoin that is times, uh, 300 400 eh? uh, the sec the, the last bull market uh, the low was in 2015 at $160 and the high was $20,000 so that is times 100 eh? so you see like four times less strong was the bull market and um, that means that um, the bear market should also go uh, down by a similar uh, a lot less and and, and, the cor and that means that actually a correction of 70% that we saw uh, around 6,000 US dollars it hit twice for Bitcoin about uh, um, that's a 70% correction and that's um, uh, is it correct uh, let me just uh, yeah that's correct uh, that's more than enough uh, and actually it shouldn't correct more than that and uh, uh, from that perspective but mm, it's also the case that the bear market should last one year and a half now uh, just from extrapolating past uh, cycles uh, um, the first bear market was half a year the second one was one year uh, and the bull markets were also uh, one year and then the, the second bull market was two years now we had a three-year bull market so 
logically it will be a bear market that lasts not one year but one year and a half um, so uh, and we're only, only three months in four months in another important factor that made me not to market buy is that the value of uh, cryptocurrency at the bottom was still uh, 250 billion and that's still um, um, way above the um, historical uh, trend line uh, on Trollolo his chart it was uh, of or is around 150 billion uh, for the, so that means that the market uh, valuation of all cryptos is was still at the low about 70% uh, above um, uh, the trend line meaning uh, overvalued by almost double um, and, and, and that's of course logical at the start of a bear market and what we see in past cycles is that this um, goes from overvaluation to undervaluation the trend line continues to go up but the price continues to go down and so the bear market ended in last bear uh, market cycles at uh, minus 70% uh, undervaluation uh, and below the trend line um, so that was for Bitcoin in um, uh, well that was actually the whole year of 2015 that it was undervalued uh, by around minus 70% and, and, and it bottomed at $160 and at the end of the year it was $220 or $250 but over that whole year of course the trend line goes up too and so even though Bitcoin price went up slowly the trend line went up uh, actually faster and, and, and the undervaluation just became bigger even though the price went up um, uh, and so the biggest undervaluation was at the end of 2015, early 2016, compared to the trend line. And we see that this undervaluation goes higher and higher every cycle. Uh, and so the last one was minus 70% undervaluation, but the one before in 2011 was only minus 50% undervaluation at the bottom. So I think uh, extrapolating that, uh, that we will see a bottom of around not minus 70 but possibly minus 80, minus 90 <coughs> percent undervaluation below the trend line. That means the trend line is now 150 but of course will continue to go up. Um, but by in one year time, in the middle of 2019, it will be around um, uh, 800 uh, m million, sorry, billion to 1 trillion, the trend line. Um, uh, <coughs> and, 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 and but then an undervaluation of 80% is about 200 billion that the market cap will be but in one year time there will also have been a lot of new coins coming on the market uh, and also existing coins inflating their supply uh, and so that means that the price per coin will actually be about 50% lower on average compared to the bottom we've seen uh, a couple of weeks back uh, so uh, that means that uh, Bitcoin will probably go from uh, from 6,000 to about 3,000 uh, and Bitcoin cash uh, probably from the low that it was $600 to around $300 these are the things I still expect or for Ethereum the lowest what was it $400 now will go to $200 in one year time that's still, uh, I, I think, the highest probability scenario, um, and 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 related to that, I think also that the stock market, uh, the highest probability there is that uh, it will have a negative year, and this will also, um, yeah, um, uh, make it hard for cryptocurrency, and 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 will explain why the bounce that is now strong, uh, but will probably weaken. Uh, and, and, and will not breach the all-time high of 20,000 no but it may of course depending on what stock markets do go up to maybe um, the neighborhood uh, maybe up to 14,000 or 15,000 and, 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 and but then just go sideways and down again but it will take a long time uh, because it's still a year away that the low will be found so this bounce may take a long time um, so um, uh, what also confirms to me that we haven't seen 
the uh, bottom yet is the way this new um, bounce uh, starts. So it starts very, very bullish. Uh, uh, it goes up in one to two weeks times two. I clean for for Bitcoin Cash, but I, the market is going up rapidly from the bottom of 250 billion. We are at about 450 billion in two weeks, so that's very fast. And um, also the sentiment uh, on, on Twitter uh, is, is, is immediately bullish. Um, <clears throat> very bullish. Uh, so a lot of people uh, calling uh, that the bottom is behind us and um, uh, 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 believing that it will go up from here. And um, this is not uh, typical for the start of a new bull market. What's typical at the start of a new bull market is that people are skeptical of the rise and they think that um, it will probably fall again to new lows after. Uh, uh, but that never happens in a new bull market. It just continues to go up. And uh, But people are skeptical and don't believe in it. And it's only later that people become optimistic and only after that that people become euphoric and it's my impression that people are still euphoric today uh, even though we had three months of bear market at the moment uh, you just it goes up a little uh, people just reactivate their euphoric feelings uh, that they had in December and January uh, and, and it's just back like like nothing happened and, and this just shows to me that um, uh, well, the shakeout has not been um, there yet, uh, um, and also I have the impression that many people that entered the crypto market uh, way too late, uh, um, when it was already above 500 billion market cap, uh, or even above 400 billion, I would say market cap. You're too late. Uh, so when you enter cryptocurrency at uh, the last half. Uh, in the last ha half of 2017, um, when Bitcoin is already above 5,000 US dollars, it was already above 5,000, um, then, then you're too late because, um, uh, because the market already went up for two years and a half at that point from the low. Uh, from a low of about 3 billion, it went already to 300 billion plus, so 100 followed already, and then you decide to enter as too late. But, um, but of course the market still went up a lot from that point to about 800 billion, so times two times three from there. But um, uh, I think that, 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 that these people have not been shaken out yet uh, and they are um, still in the market. Uh, some of them sit on losses, some of them are at uh, a break-even point, but I don't think that many of these people have sold yet. Um, so, 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 and that also needs to happen. It doesn't need to happen, actually. Uh, it, we can go into a new bull market. Uh, nothing has to, but it's most likely, if past patterns repeat, that we will see them being shaken out before uh, we go into a new bull market. So, um, fingers crossed that happens. Otherwise, I won't be able to buy a new position. And then there's also something I'd like to say about investing. Uh, just I, I was fortunate uh, to be able to take out some uh, profits out of the crypto market um, during December, January. Uh, but um, uh, like for me, this is a, a lifetime achievement, um, and I, I'm not gonna risk that money easily. I only am willing to risk that in markets where I see a um, potential long-term bull market that is able to at least tenfold but hopefully hundredfold the money I put in. This is very hard to find and it's not like, um, I mean, I, I did some research it's, in my opinion um, that's not the case for the commodity market uh, right now. We're not starting a new long-term bull market. Uh, I think we're starting a rebound, huh? uh, as mentioned in previous video. So that's not interesting for me. Um, and the stock market uh, actually is already in a 10-year bull market, but I think it will last another 10 years. 
So I think that's the best option um, uh, to be part of the second. Uh, well, this, the, the last phase of a bull market is is more. Uh, goes up percentage-wise more than the first phase. So I think stocks actually and especially emerging markets is an interesting buy from that perspective. Um, um, but but yeah, um, mm, I have to do still more research here. But some emerging markets have not done anything the past 10 years um, in, in, in value. Um, uh, the index, stock indexes. And, uh, and will likely uh, catch up with uh, Western indexes of the US and Euro uh, especially US has done a very very well the past uh, 10 years and, uh, and, and but I think uh, typically at the end of a stock market uh, bull cycle uh, the emerging markets are the last to go up but then go up the most uh, so yeah I think that's an interesting investment bye